All right, guys, so it's been a while since I've done anything with Elementor. Uh, had someone uh, ask me the question of whether we can do equal height uh, cells or cards or whatever you're going to call them um, using the Elementor's uh, loop grid. Um, it is a bit clunky because of the additional wrappers and garbage that gets put around things, uh, but it is possible. So I just wanted to have a quick look at that. So if we start here, I'm just going to basically create a single container here. And in that container, I'll leave it on box. I'm going to get rid of my, my paddings on that. I'm going to add a loop. And in that loop, we're going to stick that inside there. That gives us a basic setup. We need to create a template. Save. Okay, so on this template here, I'm just going to add a post title. Uh, get a small, maybe it's smaller than that even. Um, I'm going to add an image, maybe the featured image. Oops. And now Elemental has changed an awful lot since I last looked at it, so I'm just going to work my way through. Uh, and maybe we'll add the excerpt. Just got faker press um, posts in here, so nothing flash, and maybe a button. Use the button as our more. And we're going to link to the obvious one would be to the post URL. But so more to the post URL. So there's a basic setup. Let's give it some padding and some spacing so i'm just going to maybe do one m and i do like the way they've uh, added this uh, where you can actually put in uh, these units or custom units which is, uh, which is good that wasn't there the last time i looked at this i'll just make that one m all the way around for our padding it's all one m oops i'm on the button aren't i uh go to the container One M all the way around, and maybe we'll stick a border on it so we can see it. Accent, maybe a four pixel radius on, on the border. Okay, there's our basics. I'm going to update that. Hit save and back. There's our basic query loop. Straight away, we can see we've got some problems here. Um, with the heights of those and in the loop grid let's have a look in the loop grid see if we've got anything here equal height we can turn that on the equal height is stretched our, our containers for the loop but not the contents inside the container so let's have a look at that so i'm going to update that have a look at page front end what we need to do if I have a look at one of these, so what I can see if I roll a mouse over, I get to that's 100%. These are all the same size. If I get to this container inside here, and that's actually automatically been stretched. The previous uh, test I did this, so really what we need to do is just move this button down to the bottom now. If we look at the button, this is something that didn't work for me last time. I had to do it manually, so if it's expect on this button. We should be able to just go into the advanced, uh, change this to pencil, just change our margin top to auto. Not linked everywhere, we don't want that. And save that. That should push our button to the bottom, but it doesn't. Have a look. It doesn't. Now, this is the issue we have with wrappers in Elemental. So if I have a look at this uh, button here, I might just drop this down to the bottom so we can actually see that a little bit bigger. We look at the button, we go up to the button container here, looking for where I've got my margin top auto on it. It's not there. So we go up to go to the widget container. You see this elemental widget container here? That's where it's put my auto. I don't want it on there. I want it on the actual element. 
So I'm not sure why Elemental does this, but that's the element I put on the page. It then adds an element to a widget container, and it puts my settings on that instead of this. So what I have to do is create custom CSS for this to work, which is not something we should have to do. So what we have to do now is go back to my block. Oops, I think I was editing already. Go back to my block here. And in our loop or a container, that container here, could do this with uh, CSS um, passes, which I would recommend. But we're just going to do it here. So what we're going to do is target the, in, inside this container, we want to go the uh, elemental element, which is the last of, actually not last, uh, last child will do. We're going to get the last child that is a element, and we're going to set the margin, margin top to auto. You can see it doesn't show it on this particular one, but you can see all these are moved to the bottom. Hit update now. And there they are. So we've got a, uh, a loop item, the container, we've got our featured image, our uh, title, our excerpt, and we've got a button. And the buttons are aligned to the bottom of this container. So you can do it is a bit of mucking around because of the way Elementor adds containers to things. So again, coming back to this, our reason for our problem that we have to solve is most of it's okay, but the reason we have a problem is because this button, when we add that button to the uh, to the um, editor, so in here, so on this button, I've got margin top auto, but it doesn't put it on the button element. It puts it on the widget container, which is underneath the button element. So margin top of auto is, is relative to its parent, but we want the margin top auto on the actual element. That is something that really I find frustrating with Elementor where uh, all these additional wrappers that it puts on there. I wish if you stuck a button element on the page, it would stick a button element, not a, a widget and then a wrapper and then another div, which is another wrapper. And then we've got our actual button there. It just makes no sense to me having all this to put one single link on the page you know it just doesn't make any sense anyway so that's how it's done um and i hope that makes sense uh and answers that question for you